In this short video, I will talk about the two most common usage of the Chinese characters 有. The most basic usage is as a verb indicating a uh, possession or existence. For example, 我有一本书. 我有一本书. I have a book. 这里有很多人. 这里有很多人. There are many people here. When used in this way, if there is no time expression in a sentence, it generally signifies a general state. Uh, we could translate it as half. But when there is a time expression in a sentence, we can distinguish whether the state is in the past or future. For example, 昨天我们有一场会议。昨天我们有一场会议。明天我们有一场会议。明天我们有一场会议。In these two sentences, due to the presence of different time expressions, uh, we could translate it you as had and have. The second usage is to express having certain characteristics or conditions. 有 is used to describe someone or something having uh, specific features, conditions, or states during a certain period. Uh, it is important to note that uh, such states only exist at a particular time, uh, not as a long-term conditions. For example, 他有点累了。他有点累了。He's a bit tired. His tired state may exist for a short period after work or exercise, uh, not as a prolonged conditions. So uh, we use 有 to indicate being a bit tired. Another one, 这个问题有难度。这个问题有难度. This problem is difficult. In this sentence, I'm describing a brief uh, perception of problem having difficulty. Uh, however, once I solve the problem, the feeling of difficulty will disappear. So this use of yo is for uh, discussing something that's uh, happening temporarily. So these two ways are the most common used in a sentence. Hope this short video helped you out. See you next time. Bye-bye.